Today we are at a water treatment facility. We have four buildings with fiber cables pulled between them. We're making a total of 108 splices. Fiber's been pulled in. Jordan's setting up the splicer. We'll be splicing on SC single mode connectors. These are the splice on connectors. These are the Denrel housings that the fiber will land on once spliced. And the cable will be routed over here. Landed on the PLC Denrel. Lunch time on the job site. Over here, found us a good little spot. Got some chicken and pasta and sweet potatoes going. This is my on the job site kitchen that I bring with me. Currently yeah, in building uh, 90, fiber, which is the yeah. next stop on the yeah. fiber route, uh, terminating or splicing uh, yeah. these connectors you on this side. Two, I'll give you a look at the this control room, show you what it looks you like. Two, Jordan's turn splicing fiber, right, troubleshooting cameras on the on phone with another there. customer. Where you just plug that you got the you fan, the little airflow. Yeah, I wasn't worried about that. Okay, now um, go over to uh, to the TV again. Yeah, the screen. I'm outside of building 90. This uh, fiber from this building comes from building 40. There's building 10, and on the other side of that is building 50. All these buildings are tied together with fiber. This is the OTDR that we use. It's an AFL FlexScan FS300. This does single mode, multi mode. Uh, use it for a VFL which is a visual fault locator and we also use it to certify fiber. This is the OTDR multi-mode single mode optical power meter and visual fault locator nice size compact got fiber spliced over at building 90 now we're about to head to building 40 no we're gonna head to building 10 first get it set up, get it spliced. Right now we're just loading everything up. This fan comes in good, battery powered, works off our M18 batteries, snaps onto our pack outs. It's got the pack out feet. Definitely works in control rooms and places where there's not a lot of airflow. Also this chair, this little pop-up stool. Got a seat cushion. Definitely comes in handy. Packs up small, takes up hardly any space. Lightweight, very nice. It keeps this chair on the van. This is good for splicing on bigger jobs. Something more than a stool, more comfortable. And this Yeti bag, I use it all the time just for catch it all. Just grab all kinds of tools and things. Strap, you can tote a lot of weight in this. Right now we got our project drawings in here. We got a Jackery, this is where we get our power from for the fusion splicer. Got some headphones, so when we're uh, testing, we can use these to talk back and forth. We got, um, snacks all kinds of things in here just a little bit of everything also the service body van is nice got doors got a fold down door which also doubles as a table doors up here fusion splicer all the fiber tools testing things uh, here we got all the milwaukee tools all the drills 
cutting tools, bandsaw, vacuum cleaners, bits. We got a DeWalt hammer drill down there. Um, battery charger for the drills. We got it set up in here. He can flip a switch in there on his inverter and power power that up to charge those. This is a label maker, data jacks, RJ45s, smaller hand tools, Dremel tool, uh, screwdrivers, pliers, things like that. That's where these stay. And then back here, tie wraps, a stool, we got fish tape, we got a toe strap in case we get stuck on the job site. Fire extinguisher, have it mounted in there. Staying organized on the job site, that's a big key too. Keeping your stuff clean, keeping trash bags on you. I didn't put that uh, cable through that um, stuff because I, I don't know. It, it's so packed. What, through the panduit? Yeah. Just for now or what? Yeah, just for now. We'll try to look at it again. Before we go over there or tomorrow? It's good for now, the door closed and all that. It's hanging down. But, um, Trash bag, table for splicing, folds up pretty nice. I'm gonna walk down to building 10, see if I can't find them a good place to park down there. And then we'll set up, we got a six strand single mode to splice on there. We're splicing on uh, SC connectors, Sam Charlie. It's a square type connectors, um, single mode fiber. That's pretty much all we use now is single mode fiber. So we'll go down there and get that set up. It's 315 now, we should be done with that by 415 or so. Then we gotta move over to building 40 and that's where the remaining cables are. We have, um, let's see, three, 12 strand single mode cables in there and one six strand single mode cable in there to splice. We'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, after that, we should have that done around noon, one o'clock, something like that. And then we'll test, certify, label, make sure everything's wrapped up. And if everything goes as planned, we'll be finishing this job tomorrow, sometime five, six o'clock, um, hopefully before seven, which is the latest they work out here is 7 p.m. on this job site. So we'll try to get completed before that timeline. And then Friday, we'll be back in the office doing some office work, getting ready for the next week. Jordan just driving up to building 10. Splice this six strand. These industrial job sites, typical PPE or protective, personal protective equipment, safety glasses, hard hat, gloves, earplugs, work shoes, it's the typical equipment that you need uh, while you're on site. This is building 10. This is where the fiber comes into. There's the fiber down there. This was pulled in by the electrical contractor. So we'll extend it into the cabinet, route it up. And this is where it'll land. Got a corning single panel housing with a 12 port SC single mode how, uh, panel. Hey you know. <laughs> This is a six strand single mode tight buffered fiber. So you got to install a fan out kit on that. This is the fan out kit. This is the hole that he's got to put the fiber in. All the other fiber we've been splicing has been tight buffered, which does not require a fan out kit. So this is the only one that's a little bit different. He has one of the strands terminated. Got it plugged into the OTDR using the visual fault locator, the VFL part of the OTDR. I'll go to the other side. So I'm at the other side of the fiber. There's the fiber. There's the light shining out. That tells us that the fiber is good from here to there. 
uh, good enough to keep splicing anyway. We'll, we'll test it and certify it afterwards. But we're in building 400. This is the server room. We've got a 12 strand cable that goes from here to the MCC room, which is uh, a couple doors down. Just tying up the fiber, zip tying it to the ladder rack that runs around the room and runs down to where the cable comes in. Jordan's on the other side, splicing. This fiber, this will be the last one we do tonight. Then tomorrow we come back and we have four cables in the building 400 MCC, building 40 MCC. Splice those up in the morning, should be done by 12 or one. Then we'll start testing. Hopefully everything tests good and we'll be finishing this thing up around 5.30, 6 o'clock tomorrow. Jordan gets right. Jordan said 3 o'clock tomorrow. Keep an eye on it and see what time we finish tomorrow. 3 o'clock sounds good to me. I like the idea. 3 o'clock. Work well under pressure. He does. I don't, but he does. Got this, uh, Jordan got me this zip tie holder. Holds it. Got one for 8 inch ties, got one for 11 and one for 14. Also got one for 4 inch ties. I don't know if it works yet. I'm going to try it. It's got a carabiner. Flip to your belt. Very handy tool. Keep them things on me. Zip, zip, zip. MCC room in building 40. Just printing all the labels for the cables. This connects to the printer. The printer prints out the labels. Then we do the cable wrap. Kind of like that. Jordan's getting it done over there. Underperformed on our count. the fiber has been spliced now we're testing I've got my AFL CSS1 optical laser source got my single mode LC to SC jumper I got a jumper plugged in to strand 2 and this is a 6 strand they use a 12 port panel so we're just testing the 6 this is a Corning single panel housing There's the fiber in there. Dan rail mounted. I'm at one of the last buildings. We're testing the fiber. We don't have service on our phones, which we usually talk on our earbuds to test but we don't so he's shooting a light when uh, I need to move to the next strand so that red blinking light it means go to the next strand that the first one's good that's the blinking light telling you to move there's our tester move to strand two and he's testing on the other end then I'll move on to strands three four all the way through 12. These fiber panels are mounted in a rack mounted enclosure so it's a different layout, different footprint than the DIN rail. Uh, these mounts in a 19 inch rack. Panels populate the housings. Testing the fiber now with the OTDR. Got a few issues we're working out. 